Let's look at a few manual tricks you can use to fine-tune and customise your pitch shifting. Load baseloop.wav, which is a two-bar loop, and kick.wav, which is a one-shot hit, onto separate audio channels in your preferred door. We're using Cubase Pro 8. The loops are at 128 BPM, so set your project's tempo accordingly. Again, these sounds are taken from CM218 Sample Magic Future vs Retro Pack. Set up a loop around the two bars and copy the kick hit onto every beat. Drum hits generally have a discernible pitch, or at least some kind of pitched component, so you'll often want to tune them to fit melodic elements of your track. Simply tuning the kick down by one semitone will get it in tune with the bass but it will also pitch the transient down and dull the initial attack, and it isn't the punchiest bass drum to start with. By using a pitch envelope to draw in the amount of pitch shift applied over time, we can tune the body down a touch while leaving the transient unaffected, or even simultaneously pitch the transient up to add punch. Right-click a kick and select Process Pitch Shift from the menu to open Cubase's offline transposition options, then head into the Envelope tab. Note that transients are extremely sensitive to pitch shifting, often degrading even under mild tuning, and especially when using algorithms that shift pitch irrespective of time. Pitching one-shot drums using a sampler-style repitch algorithm will alter the hit's length and pitch together, maintaining transient detail, and check the time correlation checkbox to do this in Cubase. Draw in an envelope curve on the display, double-clicking to add new points. Hit preview to hear your changes in real time. Shape the curve so that the transient's pitch begins high, before falling down sharply into the body or tail section. Experiment until you've tuned the hit to taste and added enough punch. Hit process to apply the pitch shifting, then apply this to all the other kicks. So let's just AB what we've done. Here's the unpitched kick. And here's the kick with the pitch envelope applied. You can always draw custom automation curves to shape a real-time plugin's effect in a similar way. One way to retain impact when tuning a drum is to pitch the transient and body separately. Close the previous session and import kickandsnare.wav onto an audio track in a new 85 BPM project. The loop is at a relatively slow tempo and the hits feature plenty of tail, giving us space and time to clearly distinguish their attack and sustain portions. Zoom in on the front end of the kick. Use the scissor tool to make an approximately positioned cut after the attack portion. You'll probably want to turn quantize off. Then repeat for the snare. Use the mute tool to silence the sustain sections, so you can only hear the transients. Then fine-tune the length of each region until you've perfectly isolated the initial attack. Drag the sustain edges so they sit flush against the attack regions. Unmute them. Then apply small volume fades to the edges to prevent any clicking at the seams.
By separating the transients and leaving them unprocessed, their impact is preserved, no matter what changes we make to the pitches of the sustain sections. Experiment with various time-independent shifting algorithms for interesting sustained timbres. and try repitch style shifting on the transients for added snap. Drum loops can be divided into component slices, which are then played back and pitched individually in a sampler. Pitching a loop up in this way may introduce noticeable gaps between the hits, especially when replayed at a slower tempo. These gaps can be filled with a touch of reverb. or by fading in a pitch-shifted copy of the sustain on a parallel track. Download over 30 exclusive plugins. Get hundreds of pro quality samples and power up your production skills with in depth tutorials. We break it down for you step by step, and you'll see exactly how it's done in expert video guides and producer masterclass sessions with pro producers. Get all this and more with Computer Music Magazine every month on iPad and iPhone, PC and Mac, Android, and in print.